Hello everyone. So, if you got to this point somehow, I have to commend you. It's uh, quite a challenge to draw some stuff like this, but yeah, that's why you're here, right? To become somewhat proficient with Blender. So, it, it requires practice and you will have noticed that, I guess. Now, let's move on to objects. This is the room. But I'm just going to decorate it with some furniture, like a desk, for instance. So, let me just at the top once again snap my cursor to here, shift right click. And now in object mode, I'm going to shift A, add, mesh, a plane. That's going to be my desk. Top view. Don't, don't mind the colors at this point. Top, shift C. And let me snap selection to grid that's better and let me move it over here somewhere like that my desk is 80 centimeters so something like this deep g140 wide or so that's my desk front view g let me move it upwards like 0.7 and a little more 0.73 to extrude to 3 so this is the top surface of my desk shift C and uh, <laughs> let me move it over here and uh, this is pretty annoying now right now this room it's obscuring the view somewhat so let's just uh, press H if you clicked it H to hide and on the top right you can see cube that this eye is closed if I click this eye it's open it's funny huh uh, let's just rename it for a moment I'm just moving moving over to this square it says cube well I'm just gonna make new name it uh, home caps lock would be nice home like this I'm gonna select this one name it desk and in the top right you can see all the objects in the in the room here and uh, yeah let's just design this desk further it's pretty simple actually I'm just gonna select uh, control middle click it's really annoying duplicate somewhat like this for instance G Control scroll, extrude scale Z zero. Control scroll, extrude, uh, extrude G. Let's see. That would be the leg. I'm just gonna select the top surface. Shift right click. Select the leg. Duplicate scale minus one. And now I've got both legs like this. And that would be a desk. But if you're seeing everything in grey, it's going to be something like this then, yeah, I urge you to move over to this button here and you selected material preview now you don't have, if you didn't do this, this previous uh, video, then you don't have any materials yet, so let's just quickly recap, let's just select this surface here for instance, top um, and click this little circle material properties now you might see something like this or well uh, let's create a new material new and let's rename this to brown very nice now this is not brown it's white so I'm just gonna select this one here move it over here somewhat scroll down a bit like this is looking kind of like brown a bit brighter like this yeah sure that would be a brown desk now let's add another color plus sign wait a minute I already have colors but yeah gray for instance let's me create a new material plus sign and this object has got 
now has two material slots. One is contained with the brown and the other is still empty. So I'm just going to say new, click this and say decay gray, for instance, dark gray, and uh, select the base color like that, for instance, top. I'm just going to select these two, control scroll, and in edit mode I can just assign this color, assign, now hit top object mode, it's not all that dark gray just yet, so I'm just going to change the base color some more. Yeah, this is this is a kind of dark gray, I guess. Now I'm just going to focus on this orange dot here. I'm just going to press Tab, Edit Mode, snap my cursor to this floor, Shift right click, select this vertex, Scale Z zero, like that. And then snap my cursor here. I press Ctrl Z and now I'm heading back to object mode. Move to object, set origin to 3D cursor. Now I've moved the orange dot to this position, which position which is exactly the top left, the back left corner on the floor of the room. So if I just uh, rotate this thing, shift Z or Z, you can rotate it like this, or you can move it, and then shift right click and the cursor snaps back to this corner. Now I can just select this wall, tap, snap my cursor here, and then shift S, selection to cursor. And now this desk is solid against the wall like this. I'm just going to move it over like so. I could just hide this. H and work on the desk for instance Alt H and everything is visible once again. Now you could also separate or join. Let me take a look at this wall for instance. Tap. I'm going to select this point. Left Shift Z this point of the wall. Duplicate. I'm just going to design my couch for instance. I just extrude. This is an armrest for instance. And Extrude the seats. Extrude. And then extrude like this. Snap my cursor here. Duplicate scale minus one. And I guess G. Extrude this part. Front view. It's a, a bit from the ground, of course. Extrude. These are the seats. So now I'm just going to move to face selection. Top view. I'm just going to control remove these. And uh, extrude. And that would be my couch. This needs a new color as well. But now I'm just going to control scroll my mouse and select this whole thing and press P, separate selected. I'm just going to select this, let me see, G or duplicate, scale 0. Snap my cursor here, I could even leave the dot for reference point but X delete where this is. And then object set origin to 3D cursor. And now let's just change the color a bit. I'm moving over to here, of course. And let me just remove a couple minus minus. I don't need those. And uh, let's just well delete all of them. Select uh, a new color, black. I have a black couch. Of course, caps lock here on black. And then base color. It does have a pretty solid specular color. It's 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 fabric, so let's just m remove the specular color a little bit. Like so. I guess. 
yeah you could also join objects for instance if I just uh, select this one and uh, this one then the objects are getting joined with the last object that you selected if I press ctrl J now this is has become one object G as you can see here so you can just use P to separate and ctrl J to join I'm not sure if I'm gonna change those shortcut keys it's not that you use it that often ctrl Z I'm just gonna keep these separate objects now I also need to talk about parenting I guess suppose you have a drawer on this desk or shall I just draw a new desk yes let's draw, draw a new desk this one duplicate let's put it here top snap my cursor here G scale Z zero G let's say yeah let's do, do it like this for instance top view a little bit smaller G sorta snap my cursor extrude scale 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 Z shift S snap selection to grid top view extrude now let's select this point shift right click control scroll my wheel P separate selection S select this one object set origin to 3d cursor now let's put in a drawer just gonna snap cursor here scale Z oh, duplicate scale Z front view scale Z snap selection to grid G extrude top view extrude now let's make this a different color so select plus oh I removed it ctrl Z um, yeah plus sign a new slot let's select white in this case this circle you can select from all the colors you have in this world I suppose and then tap assign now snap my cursor here just select this duplicate scale no zero front G extrude G extrude 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 scale scale yeah and then assign dark gray P separate selection and I'm going to move it in here like that that's the drawer and now I'm going to parent it with the, uh, the rest of this cabinet I'm gonna select this drawer then I'm gonna shift left click the cabinet itself and then press ctrl P set parent to object and anything you select is always parented with the last object that you selected so now if I move this ca this cabinet it you also move the drawer if I move the drawer however it's not in the, the cabinet is not moving so that's uh, that's parenting now you can also press alt P to clear parent so ctrl P to set parent alt P to clear parent 
Now the feet of the couch are missing by the way. I just snapped my cursor here. Top. Uh, let's just uh, let's just shift A at um, cylinder. Now it's a big cylinder. Vertices, let's make it uh, 24, a bit less. Depth, radius, uh, let's say 0.05. Depth, 0.05. Scale Z0. Snap my cursor here. Scale Z0. Let's just move it over here. Scale Shift Z. Like that. Duplicate. 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 Rotate. G. Yeah, I guess so. And next I'm gonna do some things with, I think, cutting things. Yeah. See you later. Oh wait, let me just put a shelf in here as well. Right? Um, just select these. Duplicate. Extrude. So. Next we'll be cutting things. And of course, don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is uh, any useful to you. As well as subscribe if you want to see more.